हाय गाइस वेलकम टू कोड आर्टिजन लैब दिस इज फोर्थ वीडियो फॉर मल्टी वेंडर ई कॉमर्स वेबसाइट इन जेंगो विद रिएक्ट जेएस इन दिस वीडियो वी विल ऐड सिंपल अथेंटिकेशन इन आवर वेंडर एपीआई राइट सो इन आवर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव सीन दैट हाउ हाउ वी हैव हाउ वी हैव सीन दैट हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट मॉडल सीरियलाइजर एंड यूआरएलस ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई हैव क्रिएटेड हियर द वेंडर लिस्ट and i have created all the required things for this uh, uh, for showing the vendor data here you can see that this is showing the user this is showing the address right now we need to add the authentication so authentication means currently uh, this is for anyone right so anyone can uh, open this url in any browser and he can see all the data but what we need to do we need to apply the authentication if user is logged in then he can see the data else it will show that uh, it will show some error you can say right later that we will also apply some more permission and authentication but let's start with basic okay so <clears throat> uh, what we need to do first of all here we will add here we will add path right path api api auth right and then we will include then we will include rest framework dot urls right so this is the first thing so when you uh, run this then here you can see that this is showing the thing so currently i'm logged in as admin so let me log out from here so still it is showing the data right so now what we need to do we need to add that authentication uh, system here so what i uh, what i will do from rest framework i mean the views.py file from rest framework import genix genix and import permissions right so this is our vendor list view so what i will need to do permission class is equal to we can apply multiple permissions so that we i am adding this in a list so permissions dot permissions dot is authenticated right here you can see that is admin user is authenticated is authenticated or read only so i will add is authenticated okay so only authenticated user can see this so here you can see that detail authentication credentials were not provided okay let's go to login so here you can see that this is showing the login link when you click here api login api auth login and this is showing the things let me confirm one more thing okay we need to add here the slash okay so refresh this login and we will say whatever the username and password i'm logged in as a admin so now it's showing the data it means we have successfully added the authentication permission okay and this is our view level right so this is view level permission here you can see okay so if you want to add a project level permission or app level permission you can also do that right so if i go to authentication and permission let's go to api guide and let's uh, say we have permissions right let's say authentication because we are going for authentication here, here we are okay so is authenticated this is our permission class we can add this in a rest framework settings right so this will be our project level setting you can explore this authentication system you will understand all of the things right so in the settings dot project level settings dot py file we can add this authentication uh, that uh, what is that is authenticated or not right so that will be our whole project level okay okay so i hope you understand uh, what we have done right so let's create one more model we have created for uh, let's create we have created a serializer for vendor product category oh no sorry we have created a serializer only for the vendor right so if i'll open the app and open the urls.py file here 
okay so vendor let's copy this and paste here and let's say single vendor let's create the vendor detail so we will complete this vendor thing okay so views.py file i'll copy this okay i'll copy this paste here vendor detail right and uh, i will create here list create api view so with the help of this we can create we will use this uh, this will help us to create the data okay right now uh, let's make it as it is keep it as it is when we will <coughs> sorry when we will add the data then we will see okay so <coughs> vendor detail this is uh, retrieve retrieve it api view okay everything else will be same let's move our permission to the uh, to the project level right so open our core where is that backend backend api settings.py file and uh, we need to add our rest framework settings so i'll copy this right and uh, let's add it here so authentication i'll use is authenticated all right so let's see refresh here what it is saying okay let me see rest framework import uh, permissions basic authentication let me check this we have topics we have uh, permissions permissions here and uh, is authenticated sorry this should be permission right so refresh here object has no attribute authenticate where is that okay let me check this again default permission oh default permission classes yes now it will be okay so you can see that i am logged in if i logged out then it will show the error okay so now we don't uh, we know no need to add at the you know object uh, view level we can add this we have added this on the project level the whole project because this is the basic authentication we need this okay if we need something else then we will override with adding with the permission class different uh, you know different kind or we will see that we will modify if we need requirement okay okay so i have uh, i i told you that uh, i told you the both way that how we have uh, uh, how we can add the permissions on the view level on the project level right and uh, we have created the serializer api for the vendors right so let's create the api for okay so this is vendor and this will be int pk right so vendor detail page right and uh, this is retrieve api vendor detail this is vendor detail serializer it should be okay so let's open the serializer and uh, copy this paste here and we will see hyperlink related field and let's see refresh here okay has no oh understand this should be vendor detail serialized understand that okay refresh here this is vendor detail oh one more thing we need to add here also right so 
relational field must have query set we have query set uh, not not sure okay let's see okay so we have this uh, let's add one more thing here id okay so i will fetch this this is by default added in the database okay now we need to add here vendor slash one slash so this will show the whole data right so let's do one more thing i want to show the user data right so let's see we have depth right so depth uh, so where is that let me search this depth below in depth depth using the depth uh, where is that okay let me check uh, where is the views find depth okay let me check on my github code on my github code i'll go to backend and uh, main the serializer i will search depth okay so in in the initiate right here i'll copy this at the class meta level we have depth so let's say we have here so this will be vendor serializer depth will be one so it will fetch the relation okay uh, okay this is fine now let's copy this paste it here not sure why this is saying it don't need this no need this request okay so all right so depth means it will go to one depth in the related model let me show you refresh here okay one more thing vendor detail serializer right so refresh here here you can see that so we have now user data id password whatever we have in the user we have all the things if we go to list right if we go to vendors okay so it is also showing the data because of this depth right so this is the whole thing so we have created our vendor list api okay but one thing more uh, how we can add the data okay so so that i was saying list create api view so it is responsible for listing the data and adding the data and this will be a retrieve update destroy so this is responsible for fetching the single data updating the single data and destroying the single data right and if you refresh this here you can see that allow method is get post head and uh, before it was uh, not post but now we have so this is address okay so in the address we can add the data and if you go to slash one slash so here we have also right so now we have everything and we can add right so okay so for uh, I think this is uh, enough for today uh, next in the next video we will uh, create the product and uh, other uh, api like product and the category then we will uh, go to the you know orders and all the things right so thank you so much for watching this video please uh, uh, please watch this video very you know 
give your attention so you will understand all the things and also go through the go through this documentation so you will understand the uh, you know concepts about the api about the django about the class and all the things permissions okay so and you can also download the django projects from projectsplaza.com okay so these are not uh, truly free but uh, these are very you know low price so you can download and practice your projects and you can see the uh, you can see the actual example of how we can work with django right so and this is also very big support for me if you purchase anything from here right so thank you so much for watching this video let's meet in the next video thank you